Hey Realtors, Dan Ray here from the Dan Ray team, your lender for life. Today, I wanna to talk about pre-approval letters and how you vet out vendors when you get a pre-approval letter. So I'm gonna start first with the buy side. So when you have a buyer and you haven't had them call me or your preferred lender to get pre-approved, but they give you a pre-approval letter, you better call that lender on that pre-approval letter to vet them out find out if they indeed have everything that they're supposed to have, ask them certain questions such as, when am I gonna get that loan status update? How soon are your docs gonna be at title? When is the appraisal gonna be ordered? Or how often are you gonna notify me and how are you gonna notify me? Super, super important questions for you. Just the same just about on the list side. So when you get an offer, and that pre-approval letter comes with that offer, I highly advise you to do the same thing. Call that lender, ask them, do you have in-house operations? Ask them, how often are you going to be contacting me? How are you going to be contacting me? Via email, via text, You know, do you have a CRM that's set up to notify me at loan milestones? How soon are your docs gonna be at title? When am I gonna get notified and how often? Very important questions that you need to ask. So don't underestimate that pre-approval letter. I do see realtors out there from time to time that just call me and go, yeah, Dan, I let them go with the bank. It's two weeks in, haven't heard anything. Can you do me a favor and close their loan in two weeks now? Well, of course we can, but I wish you would have asked those questions up front. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little trick that I do for my realtor partners uh, just to give you an example how I kind of look out for them. So I have certain realtor partners within certain markets on the West Coast that actually, before they accept an offer, when they get a pre-approval letter with an offer, they call me and they have me vet out their lender or the lender that's doing the loan for them before they accept that offer. Especially now, guys, I get those calls all the time. And yes, ultimately, they would love for me to just do the loan. So if that lender doesn't pick the phone up or you know what, whatever happens, that lender's not being responsive or they're in a call center somewhere far away, don't work on weekends or whatever the case is, absolutely, I'm gonna try to get that deal. But that's how I handle very strong relationships that I have. Those people have asked me, can you just vet the lender out for me? Um, so this is a tip for you that I wanna give you today. Again, if you are a realtor in California, or Arizona looking to elevate your business, give me a buzz, let's brainstorm. I'd love to share tips and ideas with you that we're doing in this changing market that I'm doing with real estate companies all over the country. You guys have a great day. I appreciate your support. Hope to hear from you soon.